and we are back for another episode of my LA Noir Let's Play. We figure just figured out that Do we know well, we're we have these two locations. I don't know where we're, where I should go first though. I think I'm gonna go try to find the driver that hit the poor man who was murdered in the streets in cold blood. Who's driving a dark red Lincoln Continental? Because apparently, a 24 year old from Kansas, a woman who wants to be an actress, knows a lot about cars and exactly the model and the make. She's a genius. 4:37 a.m. I'm assuming this guy's gonna be sleeping. Oh, it just skipped three hours. What's going on here? Oh, there's his car. That's that's, that's it. Right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Oh, sh why'd he catch it? Where'd it go? He just dropped it. That coward thinks get him, he can run get him, everything. get him. That car's fast. I want one of those. Let's steal his car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a crazy ass driver. Oh, I just hit you, ma'am. This dude is a crazy ass driver. Holy shit. Come on, get him. Enough get games, him. Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm trying. Oh no, he's making me hit people, innocent people of the world. Get him! Get him! Do his wheel arches. Come on! I'm trying. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Oh no! Let's get him! Let's get him! Let that asshole get away! I'm trying. Ah! Get him! Get him! My car is so slow. I can't get him. Get him, damn it! <laughs> He's gonna turn. He's destroying everything in sight. Holy crap! I just hit that woman. I just killed her. This guy is driving way too fast. Head into the station. Go on. Get after it. Get out of the car. I got him. I can't get out of the car. Oh, never mind. Hold it right there, Shelton. How do I? Hang on. Let me go out these doors. How does a vehicular man? Yeah, sound now I got him. Sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner oh. and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's okay. go to the wife. Come all hard the shady the wife. That night, there's still a knife, and the so wife and the husband were arguing. Left the scene. Yeah, see, that doesn't make any right. sense. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got there. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Yeah, life insurance oh. check. They wanted to start a bar. They needed money because the other guy wasn't rich. There's something going on here. And I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to. Goldie's going to solve this case.
Patterson residence, 9.02 a.m. So an hour and 15 minutes after Sheldon, the other residence. Shelton residence, all right. Yes, hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Sure. Can I sit? Can you tell me what happened? Uh -oh. What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, I beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends, good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No, I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Bullshit. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Hmm. I don't know if it's I should doubt. I'm gonna ask community. Okay. Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Oh, that's a, that's a fucking Being lie. With the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? <sighs> little man. Insurance letter. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 pay. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run, detective. <laughs> you and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, man. Can I arrest and kill this bitch loss. right now? I can see what a tough time you're having with Where's that phone? Is it in this room? I'm using it. Operator, message for KGPL. Love how I just go into the house and just use people's phone. Sure it's great. Now? I guess they don't have cell phones though. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? Messages for me, please. Just one 
one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks for your help. Oops. All right, let's go to the morgue. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Drive me to the morgue, son. I'm gonna go see some dead bodies. I see zero two. I thought it was gonna be I see zero in bad eye. I thought that was gonna be the license plate. I was just gonna shit my pants. Cause that'd be the greatest license plate ever. The Los Angeles County Morgue. City Morgue, how may I help you? 9.07 a.m., wait a minute. Time just went backwards. Isn't he a cop who won the medal and is solving all the Did I only spend like three minutes at the other house? This we is put odd. the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the corner right, support, let's go. and I bet I we can all it. solve let's go get that bitch. Let's She's a murderer. Want to take the coroner's car? Because I do. Let's, wait. let's take an ambulance. Let's do it. Let's take an ambulance. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? We're taking the ambulance, man. Get in this car. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. That's right. We're gonna roll up in style. Gotta get this. I knew I knew there was something fishy about her with the insurance payout, the knife in the alleyway, the arguments. Should they just seem shady, the you know, committing adultery. Yeah. Okay, so it took us an hour to get back to their house. Yeah. This is, the time frame of this is a little weird. That didn't make any sense. Welcome to the corner, Mrs. Patterson. From your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how he had to get rid of him. How good it could be. All the money we could claim. All that planning. How to get him into the street. How to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. You bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake. Oh, you just got shot. It's too late, Sabo. Oh, get this guy. Get this guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he went down this alley. Man, he is tricky. Whoa, he is shooting people. Can I shoot him? I'm shooting him. He is not gonna... He just shot somebody. I'm killing him. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. That dude is not gonna fire off shots, kill a woman, even though she deserved it, and, and get away. And not die. I'm gonna pop him a few in the back, and that's what I did. Okay? Cops have to do what they have to do sometimes, people. So hopefully you don't think that I'm too I'm too so rash. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. 
You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. No problem. No problem, sir. A marriage made in heaven. Oh, yikes. Vehicle damage. Ooh, ooh, yikes. That is a lot of city damage, and I got five stars, though. Another visit to Ray's, and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Oh, that means... No, I don't know what that means. 